so twirly, honey. You're amazing. It, it is amazing. We're doing something we've never done before. Never on a growing, active child. Can you see this? We needed to figure out a way to give him something that uh, wouldn't fall off. And something he wouldn't outgrow in six months. Maybe I can loosen and tilt it down a little bit. That's where biomedical engineer Stephen Balshi comes in. That's better. Our design involved what we're terming the mothership. The mothership? We're calling it the, the mothership because it looks like something from Star Wars. On board this mothership. Milled out of a solid block of titanium with the receptacles to receive the magnets. This is a rare earth magnet. Two so-called rare earth magnets, super strong, powerful pull to hold Seaside's new nose in place. Then the adjustable extenders. The three bars will allow for that growth to happen. For a lifelike nose to fit onto the framework, blend into Seaside's face, and to move like a soccer star. Okay. Dr. Balshi called on Temple University's School of Dentistry to borrow Balshi's former classmate. Let's try this one. Dr. William Rigger and his partner, Jim Blakely. Masters of creating silicon ears and noses for adult patients. It's a lot different working with a child. Different. There we go. Tedious. All right, come up with a darker color yeah. wax. Time consuming. Okay, let me let me change that. But not impossible. Fits nicely back on there. Jim Blakely fashioned a special device for Seaside to remove the nose from those rare earth magnets. They call it the nose picker. It worked. Finally, the opportunity eight-year-old Seaside Taye has been dreaming of. I know. <laughs> what his Ethiopian parents prayed for when they allowed him to stay in a foreign land with a foreign language, only six years old. This guy's looking great, huh? Left with American guardians who want nothing less for him as a permanent member of their family. I don't think we feel like it's anything special that we're doing. Um, we're just trying to, you know, do our part and help help a kid who's a great kid and, and needs yeah, I'm just gonna... needs somebody to really care for him. Seaside's entire American family came down from Bloomsburg, PA, for this moment. I wouldn't want anybody to lose sight of the fact that this this offering of this high tech, beautiful, artistic nose is. Is, is opening up a world for him. All right, you ready? Ready, get set. Here we go. The stoic eight-year-old tries to hold back. Here we go. That, is awesome. that looks wonderful. Yay! We did catch a slight smile. Then it's back to just being a boy. Sum up this day. Awesome. This is just, it's a thrill to be a professional. I don't even know what to say. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. This is unbelievable. To see him, it's, it fits his face. It, the, it, what can you say? It's just amazing. Now he's out there just playing like a normal little kid. It's going to change his life. It's just a thrill for us. We're so happy we could do this for him. Everybody's heart was in this. It was so much more about heart than technicality, and it really blew me away. <laughs> you like it? And for the first time on camera, Seasai expresses to us how that new nose makes him feel. Uh, it gives me more power. Gives you more, gives power. You more power, really? His words are few now, but his parents know he'll open up later. He'll give us a huge snuggle and he'll say something like, I got a new nose, mommy. And I'm, I can go to school, nobody's gonna point at me. And <laughs> it's just, really special.